Good afternoon, and welcome to a very different College of Arts and Sciences spring address. Typically during the spring semester, we would gather so the dean could provide an update on progress and accomplishments and the business of the college. We would also celebrate several faculty and staff awards. In some ways, there's nothing typical about this semester, yet in other ways, we keep doing what we typically do and do so well. In the midst of pandemic chaos, a parallel universe of normal, typical business continues for the college. We frequently hear President Dietz describe Illinois State University as strong and stable. And perhaps there's been no other time that this has been more reassuring. During a worldwide crisis, with very little time to prepare, we transformed our teaching to respond to the needs of our students so that they can progress towards degree completion. From a position of strength and stability, we flipped our curriculum to be delivered entirely online. That is truly amazing. But even more remarkable than what we did was how we did it. To a person, each of you, faculty, staff, or administrator, immediately responded with self-sacrifice and with a redbird spirit of doing the right thing, even in trying times. Our college has done what we would have thought impossible just a few months ago in January as we began this semester. Every single person in the college shares in the success of this, even as we knew it wasn't what we would have chosen for our students. But we did it because we had to do it. Our great diversity across the college became unified in one singular mission of gladly we learn and gladly we teach. As I say, in the midst of extraordinary life is the ordinary business of the college. Our enrollment remains strong and stable with over 6,000 students. The arts and sciences delivers nearly 50% of all ISU credit hour production and 85% of all general education content comes from the arts and sciences. We read on a daily basis from the Chronicle or Inside Higher Ed that the liberal arts and sciences are under the threat of cuts in many universities. So as we approach commencement, we can proudly claim that the arts and sciences contributes to the vast majority of all of our students who receive degrees and become Redbird alumni. Let there be no mistake, the arts and sciences are the foundation of all other disciplines. In order to meet the learning needs of an increasingly diverse student body, we need to make advances on hiring more faculty who identify from underrepresented groups. We know that is important for our students' intellectual development, that they see role models in the classroom and can develop mentoring professional relationships with professors that reflect their similar experience. This is why we are so proud to say that 50% of the faculty hires this year in the arts and sciences is a person who identifies from an underrepresented group. And we're extremely grateful to the provost office for the educational diversity enhancement program that is a real commitment to recruitment for diversity of our faculty ranks. As we look back at this year, we are proud of the outstanding accomplishments of several faculty members who were honored with university awards. Faculty and staff from the College of Arts and Sciences excels in the three areas of teaching, scholarship, and service. Gladly we teach is part of our university model, and so we are proud of our faculty who exemplify this every day in the classroom as they inspire our students. Joseph Zampetti from the School of Communication was chosen for an outstanding university teaching award, and Lindsay Thomas from the School of Communication was honored with a teaching initiative award. Jillian Joyce Kaufman from the School of Communication received the Outstanding Graduate Teaching Award for doctoral students. Just as we are proud of our faculty who won university teaching awards, we are delighted to honor several outstanding colleagues with college teaching awards. Aaron Smith from the Department of English and Katie Jasper from the Department of History each received the Outstanding College Teaching Award. Ben Schweizer from the Department of Languages, Literatures, and Cultures, and Allison Harris from the Department of Physics were honored with Shaw Teaching Fellowships. Gladly We Learn is also part of our university model, and our faculty continue as lifelong learners with groundbreaking research that produces new discoveries, 
and finds new integration of existing knowledge. We are proud of Andrew Hartman from the Department of History and John Sedbrook from the School of Biological Sciences who received university research awards. The college had several colleagues who received research initiative awards, including Kenley Bannock from the Department of Geography, Geology, and the Environment, Lindsay Thomas from the School of Communication, Daniel Lannon from the Department of Psychology, and Tao Park from the Department of Communication, Sciences, and Disorders. We are also proud to honor Linda Clemens from the Department of History and Nabuko Adachi from the Department of Sociology and Anthropology as college research award winners. These award winners indicate a very bright future for the College of Arts and Sciences with research endeavors. We are proud of our robust model of shared governance at Illinois State University, and as we believe in the value of civic engagement for our students, we also expect our faculty and staff to be engaged in their community of Illinois State University. Moro Tora Morn, from, as the director of the Latin American Latino Studies Program and from the faculty of the Department of Sociology and Anthropology, won the very impressive David Strand Award for Diversity Accomplishments. Cass, Cass Fleischer from the Department of English, John Kostelnik from the Department of Geography, Geology and the Environment, and Adina Myers from the Department of Psychology were named as Outstanding College Service Award recipients. It is my pleasure to acknowledge the accomplishments of our university and college award winners. The College of Arts and Sciences impressively stands out for our high achieving scholarship with one of the two distinguished professors and both of the university professors coming from our college. Dr. Christoph Ostacheski from the Department of Mathematics is most deserving of the distinction of being named a distinguished professor. And T.Y. Wang from the Department of Politics and Government and Lisa Zipporah from the Department of Chemistry were chosen as university professors. These awards shine a light on particularly productive people, but so many of our faculty are productive with a research and creative production, production endeavor, endeavors. Scholars from the College of Arts and Sciences received nearly $7.5 million from external funding. This stunning productivity and research is shared with the professional and scientific community through dissemination of our good work with publication. Our faculty averaged 4.79 scholarly or creative products per person, and remarkably 30% of them have student co-authors. This is truly living our values of our strategic plan for individualized attention for all of our students. Our students in the College of Arts and Sciences flourish with this individualized attention. We are proud to claim that six of the 14 Bone Scholars come from our college. The Sorensen Distinguished Dissertation Award winner is Tarika Dickerson from the Department of English. Joseph T. Neal from the School of Biological Sciences was the Fisher Thesis Award runner-up. And Kate Brunk from the School of Communication and, uh, from the Department of Politics and Government and Alyssa Hernandez from the School of Communication were the college award winners. This year, the College of Arts and Sciences were very proud to sweep the 3MT competition with Austin Calhoun from the School of Biological Sciences winning first place and the People's Choice Award. And Jennifer Woodrum from the Department of Psychology won second place. We're extremely proud of Jonah Mixon Webster from the Department of English doctoral program who was recently awarded the prestigious Wyndham Campbell Award for his debut poetry stereotype, which examines and interrogates systemic racism in the Flint water crisis. Jonah is one of only eight scholars worldwide to receive this award. Just as we are proud of our teaching and scholarly accomplishments, loyal alumni and donors are eager to support our good work. The College of Arts and Sciences surpassed our $20 million capital campaign, and, and as of this time, we stand at $24.3 million, largely for student scholarship and support. We have also surpassed our annual goal of $5.1 million, with raising $5.3 million, and we're only at the 75% completion mark of the year. This support is so important to assist our students with the realization of their dreams. 
We are living in unprecedented historic times. None of us could have imagined this just 60 days ago. We out of necessity are focused on the acute moments of managing the day amidst the anxiety of our health, our loved ones, or perhaps our financial security. We forget in the midst of this pandemic crisis that there is a parallel universe. Many good things with the College of Arts and Sciences has still occurred. And I am not only hopeful, I am confident that there are gonna be many more things in our future for the College of Arts and Sciences. We have certainly been humbled by these events, but humility can be one of life's greatest teachers. We have all the potential to arise from this stronger, more compassionate, and more hopeful for a bright future. In closing, I'd like to quote President Barack Obama. Hope is that thing inside of us that insists, despite all evidence to the contrary, that something better awaits us if we have the courage to reach for it, to work for it, and to fight for it. Thank you for all that you're doing for our students, and together we will rise.